Hello everyone, a short video for this week. I just wanted to announce that we met a major milestone in our large clinical trial, and it's worth taking a bit of time to celebrate these big accomplishments. So we have completed the consenting for our resveratrol, curcumin, and stinging nettle trial for Gulf War illness. We consented the final participant last Thursday, and in total, we consented 388 individuals for the study, and the study had a recruitment target of 300. And we over-recruit because individuals may drop out, they may have to be removed, or they may have to be excluded later because of lab results or other tests. Now, this is a remote trial, and here are the individuals consented across the United States. I think we got great coverage, especially since this is our first large uh, study that's across the United States. Obviously, you can see we got more representation in the eastern half of the United States, but I think we got uh, at least one person in every contiguous U.S. state except maybe Wyoming and Delaware, and if that's true, we'll have to fix that in our next trial. Also, we recruited all of these people in about one and a half years, which is very fast. And that is possible only with an extraordinarily committed team. It's even more amazing given how small the team is. Clinical trials are normally very large, complex and expensive operations. So it's notable that we can reach our recruitment targets quickly and cheaply. So I'm immensely thankful for the researchers in this study, and I want to thank them individually, even though they probably don't want me to do that and show their pictures. I'm going to do it anyway, just quickly. They deserve the recognition, and they all have exciting careers ahead of them. So here they are. Olivia is project leader, and she's applying to medical school right now to start in 2026. Uh, Catherine oversees inclusion exclusion criteria, and she's in a dual MBA MPH program, Masters of Business Accounting and Masters of Public Health. Uh, Bailey did the consents directly with the participants, and she is starting her doctorate in clinical psychology at Pace University in New York next month. Jillian manages the treatment tracking and shipments, among several other things, and she's finishing up her undergrad program here at UAB at the end of this year. And Ohad assisted with managing post-consent elements of the study, and he's starting his graduate program in behavioral neuroscience later this summer. I also want to thank the Gulf Wellness Group at Nova Southeastern University for their help recruiting participants. And there are many other colleagues. There's medical, pharmacy, neuropathic, consultants, and I'll do a full thanks when the study officially ends. And of course, a huge thanks to the hundreds of participants in the study and to the thousands of people who were willing to participate and they went, underwent our screening process for the study. Now, uh, as you might can tell, the study's not finished. We still have to get the newly consented people through the protocol, and it's a long one. It's about 10 months to get through the whole thing. So in right at a year from now, I'll have all the data collected, everything analyzed, and I can give the final report on if one or two or three or none of the test treatments are effective and safe for Gulf War illness. In the meantime, uh, I'm really pleased with how the remote clinical trial process worked. I think we have the process down really well right now. So all clinical trials I propose for any condition and any treatment will be remote if that's practical and safe. Um, right now, I'm just putting out grants proposals. Uh, as I've said before, this is a rough time to try to get research money from the United States, uh, but I will keep at it, of course. And when I'm awarded grants for fibromyalgia or MECFS or Gulf War illness or other neuroinflammatory conditions, I will launch the trials remotely if possible, and I'll talk about those trials right here so maybe you can participate. So that's all for today. I just wanted to do this little short celebration, and I'll be back to work um, for this week. I hope you can come back 
next week, I'm planning to cover some interesting findings about the glymphatic system in the brain, which is really interesting, and it may play a role in chronic conditions like FM and ME-CFS and Gulf Rentalists and long COVID. So be sure to catch that next week. Thank you for listening, and I will be back soon.